Marquez Brownlee is by far one of my favorite tech content creators. I like how he calmly delivers his content and I admire the effort his team puts into making these videos. But if there's one thing that got me so hooked in his videos, it was this intro over here, the 2024 MKBHD intro. I was working on a similar project and I needed some inspiration and that was when I saw this exploding motion here in MKBHD's intro. Hats off to the motion designer by the way. I watched and rewatched this intro time and time and time and again just so I could figure out how they were able to pull it off. And if I haven't mentioned this before in any of my videos, then know this. Bruh. If you want to recreate a particular scene from a video or a movie or anything, you just have to watch and rewatch and rewatch over and over again. I know that might not make any sense but that activity helps trigger your brain to think creatively. So even if you didn't know how that scene was made, you would be able to come up with your own method or version and that was what I did here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an explosion motion just like this in Premiere Pro and for a bonus, I'm going to show you how to add this color effect to whatever you exploded. So with that said, let's get into the video. The key thing to pay attention in an explosion motion is well, the explosion and randomness. Imagine a bomb just detonating. Whatever object is in that surrounding, the explosion from the bomb will scatter it all around. And that same concept applies to what we are going to be making here. I'm going to first make it go from down to up and we have to make sure it's moving randomly. So obviously it's not going to be moving in a straight line from the ground. That will be weird. Now this is from a live project I was working on and as you can see, I made these icons come up from the bottom and they were moving randomly. Watch closely the way it looks scattered. That is what you should be aiming for in your motion. Then we see that color trick I told you guys about and they shrink and move towards the middle. What I did in that project essentially was to create a keyframe animation in the position, scale and rotation properties of each icon individually. Those are the three things we're working with. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using some of the icons I used in the previous project and I made those in Canva by the way. If you're looking for icons, you could try websites like Icon Finder. The first thing to do is to import your icons. Now drag them into the timeline. Make sure you stack them on top of each other and adjust their basic positions so all icons will be visible in the frame. Something like this. Then apply the transform effect to your first icon. Take your arrowhead to the beginning and click on the position, scale and rotation stopwatch. We will take the first icon out of the frame like this, move our arrowhead a bit and put the rotation in like 29 degrees. Move our arrowhead again and raise our icon up. At this point, we will also add another keyframe to the rotation. And if we play back, it looks something like this. Now let's make it fall back to the ground cause if something explodes up in the air, it won't stay up forever. Like duh. Move your arrowhead a bit and make it go down. Also tweak the rotation at this point so it looks random. Playback and perfect. It looks just right. Something I like to do is to go to the temporal interpolation and ease out and ease in my keyframes to give it that smooth flow. Now I also noticed that the movement is a bit slow and to fix that, we'll bring the keyframes close together to fasten it up, just like that. We'll do the same thing for the next icon, but remember, give emphasis to randomness. Meaning we'll be using slightly different parameters in each section but still achieving a unique result. Using the previous keyframe animations as guides, it gives us a sense of where to place a keyframe in the next icon. So again, add the transform effect to the second icon, click the stopwatch for the position, scale and rotation. Maybe just leave out scale since we didn't use it in the last one. And this time, let's take the rotation from the beginning. Shift the position to this side and make it come from the ground up. Still following the keyframe animation, we'll make a tweak to the rotation here, manipulate the rotation a bit and then make it fall to the ground. Also add another rotation keyframe. When we play back, it looks something like this. Noise. You could ease in and ease out. Now let's do the same thing for the last icon. And with that, we have something like this. And for that bonus effect I told you guys about, we'll simply be adding the inverse effect to each icon. And what this does is to create a unique stylized color look to emphasize specific colors in your scene. So we'll be going to the point where the icons are about to fall down, make a cut and move two frames forward. Cut that and add the invert effect to all three cut clips. Now you see the difference. Alternate the changes as much as you like and you would have something like this. 
and you could also add sound effects to bring it more to life and you could also smoothen the animation by adding more keyframes or bringing existing keyframes together. That's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and as always make sure you don't miss the next one. Peace!